all drivers on the road to carry at least a minimum on their auto policy, a minimum of the liability. Many times though, as we purchase auto insurance, we don't really think about how much do we need or why we're, why we're purchasing the amount we're purchasing. Probably some voice on the other end of the phone said, I think you need this, and, and you probably said, okay, I'll take it. And now you have an auto policy. But are you really properly protected? Let me talk to you about what your auto policy is and what it will cover, and then you can decide if you're properly protected. So generally, when we purchase an auto insurance policy, we're purchasing it at a liability which looks something like 100,000, 300,000, 50. And I'll walk you through those numbers. The 100,000, which is the first number, is for the other person in the other car. The 300,000 is per accident. And the 50,000 is for property damage that you do if you're driving and it's your fault. So the 100,000 is per person in the other car, 300,000 is per accident, and 50,000 is for the property damage. Now those numbers, the 100,000, 300,000, 50, also go backwards if you purchased uninsured or underinsured coverage. So let me explain how that works. If you get hit, it's not your fault, it's the other driver's fault, and you're injured, and they're uninsured, they have no insurance, then you'll go to your insurance policy and you will then claim 100000 per person in your car and no more than 300000 per accident and then up to $50,000 of property damage on your vehicle. If the other person hit you and they're uninsured or they're underinsured, so a quick question you want to think about is, how much are you worth? What are your assets? Because no matter who's driving your car, every time they leave your driveway, you need to think that they're putting all of your assets in the trunk of your car. So even if you're not driving, but your car's in an accident, and it's that driver's fault, the other party who's injured or killed they're going to sue you because you're the owner. Remember this, insurance always, always, always follows the owner. So let me give you a quick example. Let's say you have 100,000, 300,000, 50. You're in an accident and it's your fault and there's two people in the other car. And one of them, unfortunately, is killed. Kind of a worst case scenario. Well, the family of the person who's killed is going to do the American thing and they're going to sue you. And they're likely going to win if it was your fault. Well, the judge is going to come down and he's going to give a judgment on the human.